Hi, and welcome to the Fabric Studio. Today we're going to take a photograph and turn it into a fun project, as you can see now. We're going to be learning how to make a frame within the Fabric Studio, so let's get started. First, you're going to open up your photo and bring it into the Fabric Studio workspace. You can go ahead and edit it and crop it um, either before or within the software. Now, um, in order to um, proceed, we're going to go create um, a pattern. So by clicking on Create a Pattern, we've opened up a new workspace. The first thing I'm going to do is add a layer to the layer box, and I'm going to go back to my photo, bring it forward, using my Select tool. I'm going to select my image and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my new workspace and paste that photo directly into my new workspace. Now you can take it, um, why it's still selected and the little dots are going, and move it to exactly where you want it to be. Now if you want to make it smaller, you can hold down your shift key and grab the corner and make your image smaller. You want to be able to leave some room around it in order to put a frame. Alrighty, once that's done, I'm going to click on my Enter key. My next thing I'm going to do is add a layer. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and do the border in black. Now, when you click on your border tools, and you have three, you have a, re a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, and the ellipse um, rectangle. So when you click on it, it's going to bring up a new set of images up here. I'm going to go ahead and do my brush width at 10. As you can see, you can do it any width you want. I'm going to keep it black solid. So I'm going to take my cursor um, and I'm going to draw my first box around my photograph by holding down my left mouse button. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go back up to that same corner, and I'm going to pick a space a little bit above it, however wide you want your border to be, and drag that again at a diagonal area around my photograph. And you might want to practice this a couple of times. Remember, you can always hit Control-Z um, if you're unhappy with the width. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our magic wand, click on our magic wand, and select this area, because this is the area which we're going to put our autofill and create our pattern. So you can see now that the dots are going around this area. We're going to go to the autofill function of the software, and now we're going to pick out a design. You might want to look at your design beforehand and select something. In this case, I pretty much know what I want to use. I love to use stripe. So I'm going to click on autofill and I'm going to go into the stripe library. Now don't forget any of these images. You can change the color if you don't like the colorations we have, but I'm going to pick my dotted stripe. I'm going to click open and I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to hit enter if everything's OK and that cements it. Now, I think that looks great. You can, if you don't like it, you can go back. Now I want to add some coloration to the background. I'm going to click back on my background layer. I'm going to pick two colors in my color wheel, and I'm going to click on my gradient tool. I'm going to take my cursor and put it halfway up. This is eight and a half, so eight and a quarter. And I'm going to hold down the left side of my mouse key, and I'm going to drag the coloration down to make it whatever I desire. All right. Now, if you want to go ahead and um, try another fun thing to do, let's add another um, design in the background. Again, I'm on my background layer. I'm going to use my autofill function of the software. And remember, when you click on autofill, it automatically thinks you're using the same image. But we're going to go in, and this time let's try one of the black and white images. I'm going to pick this flower petal, select it, hit, and it's going to render and make a great, neat background. And when I'm done, I'm going to hit enter to cement it. Now that's a wonderful um, uh 
memory block right there. You can use it um, as a single memory block. You can make a purse out of it, use it and fuse it onto a tote bag. Have fun, um, get creative with the Fabric Studio, and try one of the other border designs. They're really fun to work with.